elements of geomorphology. Physical geography is that branch of geography which deals with the natural features of the earth's surface as distinct from its political divisions, commercial and historical divisions. Physical geography may be defined as the study of those features of the earth which are involved in relation to the earth and man that is the study of man's physical environment where it encompasses the physical features like mountains, plains, plateaus, soil, natural vegetation and a variety of landforms. Physical geography provides the basic information of various layers of the earth namely atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and biosphere. But in this section emphasis is given to lithosphere that is structure of the earth, interior of the earth, rocks and aspects of their weathering and resultant landforms and the concept of cycle of erosion. Emphasis is also given to understand the work of river, glacier, wind, underground water and sea waves along with their resultant landforms. Forces operating from below the surface of the earth, earthquakes and volcanoes and forces operating on the earth surface which is weathering are forming important aspects of physical geography. Under physical geography the study of materials of the earth, rocks and minerals, their distribution, structure of the earth, plate tectonics forms the basis. A lot of space of physical geography is occupied by the process of operating from below the earth surface, example earthquakes and volcanoes. Apart from these still more space is devoted in the study of distributional aspect of landforms created by work of rivers, fluvial landforms, glaciers, wind, underground water and work of waves, mountains, geysers and hot springs. Geomorphology is the study of the earth surface, the processes that shape the surface of the earth as well as the forms and features created by their processes. In this course we will investigate various geomorphic process such as weathering, mass movements, rivers, wind and glaciers which are responsible for the creating the enormous variety of landscape features on earth. By understanding the process involved you will have the tools to begin to identify and interpret hows and whys of the landforms we see all around us. We will observe and appreciate our surroundings with new perspectives at the end of the course. After the completion of the course, the student should be able to develop a familiarity with the different types of landforms and the student should be able to examine the process of landform development. The student should be able to develop interrelationship between erosional and depositional features. They should be able to describe the exogenous and endogenous process in the landscape, their importance in landform development and distinguish the mechanisms that control these processes. Thus, the student should be able to analyze how variations in climate, tectonics and environment that affect the development of landforms. The student should be able to assess how different scales of time and space affect geomorphological processes. The student should be able to read landscape to understand how they have formed and how they have changed over time. They should be able to describe the relationship between tectonics and surface processes. The student should be able to describe the earth surface processes associated with hill slopes, rivers, coast and glaciers. And finally, to understand the erosion, transportation 
and deposition processes.